Hello everyone, my name's Catherine and I'm the Families Minister at Bishop Hannington Church. Welcome to another time of Bible teaching for the families of children who are in minis or scramblers or climbers or explorers at Bishop Hannington and lambs, tigers and bears at Holy Cross. It's great to have you here watching. Like last week, I'm going to uh, start us off with a story from the Bible. We're going to have some fun activities to join in and then it'll be over to you to talk about what we've learned and maybe have a go at some of the activities at home. We are, uh, like I said, going to be learning from the Bible and so it would be great to have your Bibles open at the passage we're looking at. It's Luke chapter 22 starting at verse 47. While you find that, I'm going to remind you of where we've got to in the story of Jesus and the first Easter. Last week, we heard how Jesus arrived in Jerusalem on a donkey and we joined in celebrating and shouting because Jesus is our King. Today, we hear about what happened a few days after that when Jesus and his friends went out to a garden at night time to pray. It was late and very dark. Jesus' friends were feeling very sleepy, but Jesus wanted them to pray because difficult and scary things were about to happen. As they were talking, a crowd of people arrived. They looked really scary. They had swords and sticks and they wanted to hurt Jesus and take him away to prison. One of the people in the crowd was Jesus' friend, Judas. He was there because he was showing the soldiers where to find Jesus. The other friends must have been very surprised. Why was Judas doing such an unkind thing? Judas came up to Jesus and pretended to give him a friendly kiss, but really he was helping the soldiers know which one was Jesus so they could arrest him. Jesus wasn't surprised though. He knew all along what Judas was doing. He didn't get angry or shout or run away, he was in control. Jesus' other friends were frightened. They got their swords and got ready to fight. Should we fight them off? They asked Jesus. I wonder what you would have said if you were Jesus. Pause the video for a minute and talk with your grown-ups about it. If a crowd came to take you away and your friends said, should we fight them off? What would you say? Let's see what happened next. Before Jesus could even answer his friend's question, one of them used his sword on one of the people in the crowd. He hit him right on the ear and it really hurt him. Stop, said Jesus, and they stopped fighting. He went over to the hurt man who had come to arrest him. He touched the man's ear and made it completely better. Amazing! Jesus told the crowd of religious leaders and soldiers, you came to get me at night in the dark because you know that what you are doing is really bad. You could have come and talked to me any time, but you came at night, the time when bad people think that they can get away with doing evil things. Then the soldiers arrested Jesus. They took him away so a judge could say what punishment he should be given. Jesus didn't get angry or shout, or run away. He was still in control. So, the crowd and the soldiers were angry, but Jesus wasn't frightened of them. Judas did something really horrible, but Jesus wasn't shocked. Jesus' friends were taken by surprise and wanted to fight, but Jesus told them to stop. The man who got hit by the sword was really hurt, but Jesus wasn't worried. He made him better right there and then. Jesus wasn't frightened or shocked or surprised or worried. He was kind and calm and always in control. Now, Charlotte, Thomas and Florence have been playing a game. Let's see if they can keep calm and in control. I set them a challenge, so let's see how they did. Good morning, it's great to be able to join you today with Holdways and this morning Thomas 
has been given a special challenge to balance a spoon on his chin. I believe he's pretty good at it. He has been practicing. But Florence and I are going to make it as difficult as possible for him. So Thomas, get yourself into position and let's see how long you can balance the spoon. Okay, Florence. No, it's not, it's not working, Florence. Right, come on. Yes, yes, try this. Let's try this. It's not working, it's too good. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, you try monkey. It's, mm, it's not we're not having much look here. He's very, very good at this. Mm. Can we can we get that spoon off his chin without touching it? No. Oh Florence, I think we're gonna have to try some, yeah. some tougher tactics here. Give him a little poke. Give him a little. Oh, nearly. Oh, I think he's losing it. I think we're getting there, Florence. Try one more. Oh, yes, yes, he's definitely starting to I think we might go in with the fingers. Yeah, that's oh, that's it. That's going to work. Yes. Well done, Thomas. How was that? Was it hard? Oh, good job. Thank you. Well, thanks for joining us and we hope to see you all very soon. Well done, Thomas. You stayed calm even when they were coming at you with swords. Why don't you guys have a go at home and uh, see how long you can keep the spoon balanced on your chin uh, while others make you jump. <laughs> Jesus wasn't surprised or afraid in the garden because he was in charge of everything that happened. Jesus is the best king of all and he can do whatever he wants. He could have made the soldiers go away. He could have disappeared or run away so fast that they, they couldn't catch him. But he didn't. He let himself get arrested and taken away because it was all part of God's plan to save us. How wonderful. Jesus is always in control. I think that's a great thing to remember when we're feeling afraid or worried why don't you pause the video again for a moment and have a think about this question. What could you say to each other to help you remember that Jesus, the King, is in control, even when we are feeling afraid or worried? I hope you thought of some good things to say. Maybe this week you could see if you could spot when someone in your family is feeling afraid or worried and you could remind them that Jesus is in charge. Now, Karis is going to help us to learn a verse from the Bible. Hi everyone, my name is Karis, and today we are going to learn a memory verse. So, grab your Bibles, uh, it's in Luke 12, verse 7, which is about three quarters of the way through, and I'm going to read it to you. So, it said, God even knows how many hairs you have on your head. Don't be afraid. I think that's amazing. Our huge, awesome God cares about us so much that he even knows how many tiny little hairs we have on our head. And we must have millions and millions of hairs. I don't know how long it would take to count them, but I think it would be impossible. But that's how much our huge God cares about us. And with someone that wise and powerful on our side, we don't need to be scared of anything. Awesome. So let's try learning it. I have brought along my glamorous assistant, Nat Marshall, to help me. What can I say? Um, so let's try saying it just in a normal voice together, first of all. OK, so one, two, three, pause. pause. God even knows how many hairs you have on your head. Don't be afraid. Luke 12, verse 7. I'm afraid I haven't quite learned it yet. <laughs> nice one. Okay, um, shall we try some voices? Sounds good to me. Great. Okay, let's try really squeaky, mousy voices for this one. Okay. One, one two, three. three. Pause. Pause. God even knows how many hairs you have on your head. Don't be afraid. Luke 12 verse 7. 
Awesome, you are all excellent mice. I'm afraid I'm not an excellent mouse. <laughs> okay, last one. Let's all be whales. Whales. And whales. Speak very slowly. Okay, so one, two, three, pause. God even knows how many hairs you have on your head. Don't be afraid. Luke 12 verse 7. Amazing. Nice one, Nat. Awesome. Brilliant. Okay, now I have a challenge for you. So, in a minute I'm going to show you the memory verse, but some words are missing. I want you to pause the video and see if you can fill in the missing words. Did you get them all right? Great job everyone, now back to Catherine. Great, thanks Karis. Do you think you're going to remember that verse now? See if you can say it every day this week and that will really get it into our memories. Now to remind you of what we've learned today, you could make some handcuffs like the ones that I've got here and that will remind us of the bit in the story where the soldiers took Jesus away. You'll need a loo roll, some scissors, some string and some pens and other things to get, decorate them with. You'll need to cut the loo roll in half. Then you'll need to attach the string between the two different halves. I've put some knots in my string to make it look a little bit more like a chain holding the two pieces together, but you can do yours however you like. You could colour them or decorate them with stickers if you've got some. You could write out the memory verse like I've done or ask a grown-up to do that for you. If you're able to print things out at home, you could have a go at the worksheets or the colouring sheets that are available to go with today's teaching. Why not take some time to talk about what happened in today's story? See if you can remember how the different people were feeling at different points in the story. The people in your family who like reading could take turns to read each verse out loud and then you can see exactly what happened. Then you could talk about these questions. What time of day was it when the crowd came to get Jesus? And then the next one. Why do you think Jesus didn't fight or shout or run away? And then the last one. What sorts of things make you feel frightened or worried? How could knowing Jesus help you to feel less afraid? I'll put the questions back on the screen at the end, but first let's talk to God. As we pray, you might like to close your eyes and put your hands together and that will help us to think about God. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for sending Jesus to save us and help us. Thank you that he was always in charge and chose to let the soldiers arrest him because it was part of your big plan to save us. Help us to remember that when we are afraid or worried. Thank you for loving us and for always being in control. Amen. Well, I hope you enjoy thinking a bit more about Jesus now and uh, making your handcuffs. Uh, see if you can learn the verse that Karis taught us so that you still remember it for next week. And I'll see you then. Bye for now and God bless.